Hello everybody and welcome back to I Wish I Had Cancer the video game. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started here, there's not really any purpose to staying on the menu screen for too long other than to look at my be beautiful muscled platinum god character. That sounded strangely homoerotic but nevertheless we will carry on. So my last episode of this was basically abysmal. I, I died, did I even get to Necropolis? I'm pretty sure I died to Carrion Queen on like... Oh, it looked that tinted to drop for me. Thank you very much. I, pr I pretty much died to Carrion Queen on like Caves 2, which is basically terrible. So I, I have a lot of redeeming to do. Wow, okay, that makes a big deal to this run. That's a huge pickup. Being able to freeze enemies is definitely, definitely going to really improve my chances, I feel. So hopefully you can make some good stuff happen this time, if, you know, if you believe in me. Uh, see, I, I, I need you guys to believe in me as well. You know, it's no good just me thinking, you know, I'm all this, you know, you guys have got to, you guys have got to support me. I don't know what the fuck I'm actually going on about right now, other than sounding kind of stupid, but nevertheless, we will head down. Oh god, okay, at least it's pride. Pride isn't too difficult, please freeze him, thank you. Don't blow it with bombs if you could be so kind. What does pride drop again? I don't think he drops anything, does he? Yeah, just a tarot card and a pill. I'm not sure if I should count, like, bad drip pills as damage. Nevertheless, that was bombs are key, so never mind. I kind of feel like I shouldn't, because if I do, then I can basically never take pills. But then at the same time, it kind of is damage, so I'm not sure. I'm kind of, I'm divided on that one, really. If I could just get through the first floor without taking damage, I'd be, oh my god! <laughs> okay, I'm just seeing the huge spike in my audio as I did that. But uh, that scared the living shit out of me because I thought I'd literally just taken damage. But we could actually get out the first floor without taking damage here. Okay, Famine is definitely not my favourite boss to fight, but hopefully we can. Let's just put a bomb in there. Oh god, oh god! Damn it, the bomb didn't do anything. Maybe with freezing shots we can do this without taking damage? Okay, this scares me. This really scares me. <laughs> I wasn't going to react fast enough to him on freezing, so I had to move out of the way preemptively. And so far, so good. We may actually do this without taking any damage, which is fantastic. It would certainly be the best I've done so far in this uh, series, which is kind of embarrassing, really, since I started this series thinking, hey, I'm pretty good at this game. I should be able to do this, you know, not easily, but I think I should be in with a pretty good chance. And then I've proceeded to basically be the worst Isaac of Isaac, Binding of Isaac player in the history of mankind. And that is the first floor completed without taking any damage. This is definitely off to a good start. We've got a Cuba Meat, which offers some defense, which is actually... A very good pickup for the purposes that we are trying to achieve here, so I'm certainly happy about that. And we are now under basement two. We haven't come across any cellar floor, so that's definitely a good thing. Please die. Thank you. Ooh dear, that's good. Okay, he's now frozen. Good. This always makes me a little bit nervous. Okay, dodge that. Don't dodge that again. Good. Okay, and now this guy. Every room is like a mini adventure in this <laughs> in this challenge. This is a room full of flies, so it shouldn't be any problem. I did take, I think I took damage to a fly on my last run, however, so I really can't talk at this point about that not being a threat. <laughs> we have four keys, so I'm definitely gonna open up this golden chest in hopes of some kind of upgrade, and we get one single penny, which is far from ideal, but oh well, it's not the worst thing in the world. Actually, it probably is the worst thing in the world. I don't really see what else I could get out of that. Ugh! No, Gish guy, don't even do this to me. That scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I literally saw that coming about a second before it was about to hit me in the face. What is it with me and making, like, weirdly homoerotic innuendo? Oh god, I don't like these guys. It just, it, it's worrying me, but that's apparently a thing that I do now. It's like this guy would just be so kind as to get frozen, that would be very helpful! Holy shit, okay, we've avoided that damage. It's, it's considering how close I'm coming to getting hit here, it doesn't bode well for the future because this should be the easiest. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm kind of loath to use this excuse because some people, like, don't, just flat out don't believe it, but it is true that it's, it's harder to concentrate on the game while also trying to talk and be, can I use the word entertaining? Am I entertaining? I really don't know. I think I am, slightly, maybe, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it is a lot harder to concentrate. Ah! No, there's damage. What a dick bag. You pile of shit. Well, I don't want to look at this guy. Let's re-roll that and we get an attack fly. Yeah, why not? Might as well. That's really disappointing. I thought I was in for a good shot this time. We did one floor without taking damage. Oh, well. 
Uh, do I want to carry on exploring this floor? Not really. I think we'll just move on at this point. Again, even though I've taken damage... Ooh, there's a penny there, which I may as well pick up. And now that I've got one penny out of here, my gambling addiction will force me to extinguish all of the fires, even though I get nothing for it. I still need to beat Blue Baby. Like, not... I mean, I've beaten Blue Baby many, many times, but I mean, as in, I need to beat Blue Baby in the sense that... Um, I haven't done it on camera yet, just to, you know, to prove that I have, even though you know that I have, since I have Platinum Guard, which requires beating him several times, and with all the characters, and all sorts of things. Oh dear! Yeah, that may have been slightly the wrong way to go. This is a really annoying champion version of this guy, because of the little, little, whatever his name is, that constantly shoots bullets at you. There we go, I've managed to freeze him, but I can't take advantage of that, because now this guy is chasing me. I really want, like, a higher rate of fire to take the mo make the most of my freezing effect, because that is certainly the way to press that advantage, even though a higher rate of fire is very bad against Blue Baby and against um, Isaac, the freezing effect is, nevertheless, very, very good. Can I kill the little guy? Yeah, no, I can't. Well, just if either of you would die, that would be really helpful. I have a feeling these guys explode in a hail of bullets when they die. I'm not sure if that's this version that does that, but... I am wary of that. If I could just... Oh my god, that was close. If I could just take one hit of damage like this entire run, that would be a big plus. Uh, I guess we'll take a tears upgrade, because I've just been talking about wanting it. I did consider rerolling it for a second there, but I didn't have a charge on my D6 anyway. So now we're on to Catacombs, which is unfortunate. We do have Curse of the Labyrinth, which can be good in some ways, because sometimes you can get through the floor a bit faster. It really depends on the layout that it... Whoa, dear. It, Depends on the layout that it chooses to um, give you as regards the um, item rooms. You know, if you find them quickly, then you can get to the floor very fast. But we should just take advantage of this TNT to quickly end the lives of the spiders. That is how I like to deal with spiders in real life as well. Just detonate them with a, a barrel of TNT. My mom kind of gets annoyed about that. Like, there was just a spider and you've blown a hole in my entire house. But I think it's worth it. And we will take the virus because it can be very useful against the late game bosses. And there is another item room on this floor, so I may as well save my D6 charge for that. This is a room full of spiders, which is definitely not my favourite thing in the world. But at least the enemies aren't too difficult to defeat, so we will quickly clear out this room. I would like some more damage, I'll be honest, because I haven't had any, any damage yet. I now can't take that golden chest because I don't have enough keys. A single green nub should be no problem whatsoever. It still managed to get a shot in, and all that did was make a bridge to get into the centre there, but I don't need to because it only dropped a heart. This room kind of scares me, I'll be honest. Yep, I had a feeling I was going to take damage there because there's just a fucking clusterfuck of these jumping spiders. Oh god, okay, well, this is not going so well now. Please die. Oh my god, okay, that was close. That guy decided to commit suicide on spikes, which I certainly have no problem with. If more spiders would commit suicide on spikes, I'd be perfectly happy. What is this tarot card? The lovers? Oh, I picked that up from Envy. I barely even remember doing that. That's kind of scary. Oh, 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 okay. I'm not sure what happened there, but... Yeah, okay, please die, but the curse. Please die, but the curse. Uh, turned into a trumpet for a second there. Don't mind that. That just happens when I get a little bit panicked because I turn into various musical instruments. <laughs> um, I like the fact that Bootlickers were named by, like... Like, popular choice or whatever from the fans. Like, Edmund didn't have an official name for them because he hadn't put the, the credits in. And um, they had become known as Butlickers, kind of. Um, I'm not sure if, like... I can't think what the word I'm trying to use is, like... Nope, never mind, it's gonna move on from that sentence because I have no idea what I was trying to say. Oh, you bastard. Apparently I'm not. I'm destined not to keep a single spirit heart. Nope! Okay, that one was just my fault completely. I have no excuse there. Uh, I have an extra key, why not? That wasn't really worth it, but what the hell. So, I'd quite like to find the other item room fairly soon, because I'm currently wasting D6 charges. Please don't hit me eternal fly. Thank you very much. Spiders would just kind of funnel themselves into this corridor. That would be ideal. Not Northern Lion's Foot Corridor, however. Just a general corridor of spider death, which is probably a corridor that exists in my house somewhere. I... I don't really know what I'm talking about at this point. And this still isn't the way to go, but at least there's now only one way that everything can possibly be in, so hopefully they will all be relatively close together. There's another penny. However, I'm not certain that picking it up will provide me with good luck as the saying goes. Please get away from me, eternal fly. Thank you. <coughs> so, how much more of this floor could there possibly be? Probably not very much. 
I think we might actually find the item room, item room and boss room like right next to each other. Ooh, this is an interesting proposition. This now gives me enough money to go to the shop, but I kind of want to go to the item room more, even though arguably that's not necessarily a good decision. Let's take advantage of our freezing shots there, even though that was kind of a kind of a yeah, risky thing to do. Please kill this fly. Thank you. And now this guy. Thank you again. I definitely want the key because then I can go to the shop. We'll blow it out of the tunnel flies with the TNT. So let's hope for something good from the shop. I actually don't want something like a book of revelations. The ladder? Yeah, that's that's all right. I tend to forget I have it, but I'll take it. I would also buy, I think, another key just to keep me going. Actually, I've gone off Book of Revelations a lot now, like I'm much better at not taking damage than I used to be. You might not believe that, and I, I understand if you don't, but I am consider considerably better at not taking damage than I used to be, and so it's much less necessary than it used to be. I used to not really be able to survive without it, but now I kind of can. Please die. Spider, thank you. Apparently this run has been very spider-themed. Uh, two of diamonds, that doubles my money. I'll probably hang on to that, to be honest. I don't really think the lovers is very useful. Um, I don't have... Okay, here we go. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the D20. This isn't the best use of this, but it's kind of the only thing I can do with it, because I do want to re-roll it. I'm going to take the D20, I'm going to pop the lovers, and then I'm going to use the D20, and roll them into less health than they started with. Well, at least I... What was this? What? Why did this pill become... Oh, that was my two of diamonds cards. Oh, well, that turned into a health upgrade. Okay, that was a really bizarre series of events, but it kind of worked out in my favour. I got so confused as to what I did there. My reflection... I don't want it. I don't want it. It's it's a bad item. Just, I, I, there isn't really anything good about it that I can see. So, I took it last time, and I, I can't say that that's the only thing that killed me, because it wasn't. Just, it was a series of things that killed me, but it certainly didn't help matters, so... Whoa, okay, Cooper Meat definitely saved my life there. I've, I haven't taken that much damage on this run. It's considerably been better than I've done previously. Wow, that guy was a douchebag. Just spawned a spider immediately before I had any, any chance to stop him. But at least there's still enough rooms easily to get another D6 charge, so I can re-roll my reflection into something else. Oh, God! Oh, God! Damn you bastards! What is it with these guys, man? They... they I don't know what it is, but they seem to just have my number at the moment. They just, they somehow just throw bombs completely in my direction. I, I, I realise that's kind of their purpose, but I mean, they generally are a bit more random than that, and they don't. Come on, something good. Monster Manuel, really? I don't really know why I used it there, I just, I felt like it. <laughs> I kind of like the sound effect of that item, it sounds kind of cool. So blah, 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 blah. Some weird maniacal laughter. We have a blood bank, which I don't really have any interest in, although there is some health lying around, so I may play it a few times, just in the hopes of getting a health upgrade. Let's see. Kind of wish I had my two of hearts card now, I'll be honest. Not two of hearts, two of diamonds to double the money that I'm about to get from this. I'll play this down to one heart. Why not? Well, that gave me plenty of money, but nothing else, so let's go and replenish my health. I'm not sure if I actually have enough to get back to full health, but nevertheless, I'm sure that'll be fine. Well, maybe. Actually, no, I need a heart and a heart. Okay, we're only half a heart down. That's not the end of the world. We should get still get another recharge, hopefully. Oh, God damn you, spider. I couldn't quite react fast enough that time. Okay, we've almost got 15 cents yet again, even though I don't need it right now, but it will certainly be nice when we come across another shop, although next shop I think is guaranteed to be greed. I was actually quite lucky that it wasn't greed this floor, because it could have been, being that it is a, um, what, what, what's the word, what do you call it? Um, XL floor, that's the one. We'll reroll that into Monstro's Tooth. Well, you son of a bitch. That doesn't help me either, and I'm doubting that I'll get another reroll at this point, but at least I've taken a few crappy spacebar items out of the rotation, I suppose. I don't know why I sometimes walk through rooms just sort of firing tears, it's just kind of helps pass the time. Uh, could we get another reroll? Maybe including the boss room, if we're very lucky? Oh wait, don't kill this guy. Please, just, can you blow up this for me? That's not what I wanted, come on. No, that was only one rock, you son of a bitch. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, God. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that um, was a little scary. Okay, two chests. And we basically got a bunch of bombs out of that. We did replenish our health, though, which certainly doesn't 
help, I have one new item in my Steam inventory, apparently. That's interesting. I bet that's about another 50 copies of Voted. I have, like, fuck you, suicidal bastard. I have about 50 copies of, or 25 copies of that game in my inventory, even though I have nobody to give them to. So, you know, if you want a free copy of Dota, then feel free to add me on Steam, DL Tyrus, who knows? Maybe somebody will add me on Steam and I'll feel like I have friends. <laughs> okay, so I've managed to avoid taking damage from these guys, which is a good thing. These guys should be harder than the nub guys, but for some reason the nub guys are just kicking my ass lately. Oh, we have another reroll. Good. This room, this floor has continued to remain larger than I expected it to be. So I am going to see what is in here now. I keep forgetting I have the ladder, which makes this room easier to traverse. And we shall see if we can finally roll a passive item. Oh my god. You son of a bitch. This isn't a fan. Fantastic item. I am extremely happy right now. This has definitely made this run hopefully a success at this point. Quad shot freezing shots is a fantastic combination, said all games, giving me a 9.5 rating. Um, but yeah, this is this is super exciting. Now I have a really good run going, and that's a curse room I don't care about, or a sacrifice room, whatever it's called. And here is the boss, finally, and we will hopefully tear through Fistula now. That, uh, that sounds like some kind of really weird sex act. Now that we have quad shot and freezing shots, this should be absolutely no problem. If I could kill him over the holes, that would be um, an advantage, but I apparently can't do that. But nevertheless, I am killing the um, silkworms without too much trouble. And our boss is... Da -da -da, it is... Uh, uh, okay, oh, of course it's an XL floor, so I will get a recharge through the boss, which is a very good thing. I think this guy's the one who explodes into a series of bullets. This guy's gonna fire brimstone laser at me, but I managed to avoid that, thank you. This guy's going to explode in a hail of bullets, so I need to be ready to move out of the way since he dies! Whoa! And this guy does as well, there we go. Pageant Boy is a bad upgrade. I'll wait to pick that up to see whether we possibly get a deal with the devil after this boss. If I can keep this guy frozen, that would be ideal. Ooh, okay, don't get hit by that bullet there. Wow, that bullet felt really slow compared to the blighted open bullet that I just dodged. That guy explodes into a ridiculously fast hail of bullets. It's just, like, yeah. yeah. I think it would be kind of interesting if, um... Some of the upgrades that are kind of a bit useless, like shot speed up, and that may be the only one. Ooh. I guess range up doesn't hurt. I might as well re-roll Pageant Boy, because that's less useful. And we got a health up and a... I think it's a damage up, even though it says tears up. Why do I feel slower now? That isn't a speed down, is it? Maybe that's a speed down as well? I'm not really sure. Um, what was I saying? I can't remember. Oh well, I guess we'll just move on. Oh, that was bad. That was bad damage. Still, five health is probably an alright point to be at, at this point. I would rather I would like to start stacking some spirit hearts and Wow. That kind of sucks, to be completely honest with you. I absolutely hate this boss. Um I do have freezing shots, which should help considerably, but I'm not sure if it'll be enough. Wow, I didn't even notice that I was about to hit me in the face. Okay. If I can just quickly take out the... Um, what is this guy even called? I can't even remember. Um, the, the biggest douchebag in the history of... Oh, you son of a bitch. How is it that you can hit me that fast? I mean, that's just bullshit. Come on now. Oh, that was just my own dumb fault. Um, what is this guy called? The bloke, of course. Yeah, I know I just saw it like on a screen like five seconds ago. Oh my god. Wow, I've now frozen him in permanent um, brimstone state, which is not ideal. No, you son of a bitch. You son of a fucking motherfucking son of a bitch. Stop doing damage to me. I keep walking in front of him, which is basically just stupid. And I know not to do that, but apparently I'm going to do it anyway. Just avoid the creep. Whoa, okay. If this guy could die, thank you. Okay, the HP upgrade is certainly helpful. Unfortunately, the only health he dropped is now sitting over the pit to leave the level, so I can't go in it. Oh, the item room is right here, however. I don't really want poison bombs, even though it's a passive upgrade. I need to not take passive upgrades, which aren't really that good, because it actually kind of overall... Oh, God! Oh, you bastard heart! I can't believe I got hit by the heart there. At least I lost this that no damage run early, so that... All of this damage now isn't the thing that cost me the game, because that would be super frustrating. If I can just kill this heart, that would be good, thank you. I've managed to freeze all the masks, which is certainly a good thing. Despite the fact that my fire rate isn't fantastic, I'm certainly getting quite a fast... 
quite a, um, a, a decent rate of, I guess, proc rate? I can't think what the word is for that. I've never known what the word proc actually means. I know it's kind of an MMO term, like from World of Warcraft and things, and it refers to the, the you know, how often an ability, like, fires or triggers, but I never understood, like, is proc short for something? Is it, is it like, an acronym for something? I, I never actually understood what that word is. Nevertheless, I, I think I'm going to look for the shop just because I have the keys to do so. Oh god, oh god, okay, this could be bad. Um, oh god, oh, that was bad. I, I, I'm scared I'm going to die here, I've got to be honest. That dodge was a, certainly a very, very clutch dodge right there. I've only got one heart left and I don't want to lose again, like, this, this sucks. I can't keep losing on, like, the caves on Acropolis. Like, this is such a poor showing on my part. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is real bad. Oh my god, okay, that was the clutchest of clutch dodges right there. How am I avoiding all of this damage? Oh my god, I nearly got caught because of the ladder. That nearly turned out to be a very bad thing. This... Oh my god. <laughs> I am impressed with myself here. Like, considering the bad things I've done, that was quite impressive. Wow, okay. Can I actually reach that guy? Yes, I can. I hate this room. Like, it's just such a... It's such a dick bag. Oh god, things are firing spiders at me now, which is not good. Run past the spike, thank you. And I can't... Well, I do want to go in the shop, though. I did say that, didn't I? Alright. Just please trigger this spike, because hopefully it doesn't fire twice in a row. Please trigger this spike. Oh, it did fire twice in a row. What? Ah! That was probably a eardrum moment again. I apologise. Uh, I don't want Bump Friend. I am going to use my reroll on it. Uh, Steam sale. Wow. I'm sorry. There must be a miniboss on this floor somewhere. I'm definitely going to pick up a key. I would actually really like to pick up that pill, in case it's something good. And that Spirit Heart. Oh my god! This is terrible! I'm gonna die here! I... Oh, this is so disappointing. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Anybody watching this just raging at how bad I am right now? I just... I apologise, this room... That was... That was so bad! That was so bad! I can't believe I just died like that! That's... That's... that's terrible. That's... oh my god. I might do another run. I have to be honest with you. Um, this run has only taken me about 22 minutes, so this will end up being a really long video, but... Um, I, I'm just... I'm too ashamed. I'm too ashamed of myself. I have to do another run. That was awful. Right, so we have another chance here, so hopefully if I don't do anything stupid immediately, then we're in for a pretty good chance of not taking damage. Um, the reason I'm doing another run partly is because my last run was only about 20 minutes long because I died stupidly early and I feel kind of bad putting up such... Oh my god! I'm just going to restart there, I have to be honest. I'm just gonna. I'm just not even going to take that. I'm just going to restart in my first room. Fuck it. I'm restarting. <laughs> Excuse me for coughing. <coughs> ah, coughed so hard that time my glasses fell off. Okay, this is a nice, easy start. Oh, and a key right off the bat. That certainly doesn't hurt. What do we have in here? Ooh, technology. That's exciting. Technology can conducive with a very good run if I play my cards right and I get a bit lucky with my drops. So that's definitely a good start. I would love to get Polyphemus. Oh, there's no time I wouldn't like to get Polyphemus, but this is one of those items that just has a really hilarious, like, um, synchronicity with it. And that the laser just becomes huge and crazy, and I just, I love it. It's amazing. So, Monstro 2 shouldn't be too difficult with my infinite range here. I used to, like, go massively further out of my way to dodge Monstro 2's, like, hail of bullets when he landed. Now I just kind of pretty much stand, basically, in the way of them, because I can just dodge them relatively easily. And I kind of feel like by saying that, I've cursed myself to immediately take damage to him, but so far, so good. So maybe we'll get away with that. Okay. Uh, okay. I see. I managed to avoid that, even though that was probably more risky than I need, than I needed it to be, and that was actually kind of scary. Monster Two is dead, and we picked up. A, I'm going to reroll a health upgrade to get a tears upgrade. That's nice, uh, or a damage upgrade, whatever it is. The reason I rerolled that is because so far I haven't taken damage, so the health isn't actually very important to me, other than taking deals with the devil. Bear with me while I took a drink there. Okay, this room should be easy with the range that I have from... Oh, okay, that was scary. 
but the range from uh, technology one should mean that I can just outrange these guys from standing directly in the middle of the room. And, ooh, that's actually really nice. I'm definitely going to take that. It's one of those items which, oh wow, I have a, an amazing green laser now. That's so cool. I don't think I've ever had this combination before. But I actually quite like the common cold as an item. I think most people consider it not to be that good. And, yeah, I'll, I'll admit, it's it's definitely not the best item in the world. But, um, I, I still like it. Ooh, the burnt penny. Nice. Okay, so here's the deal. We haven't taken damage yet, right? And I've explained before that blood banks don't count as damage because, like, if I'm hurting myself intentionally, I don't count that towards the challenge, otherwise it's kind of too difficult. So I'm going to play this blood bank. I don't really know why, because the best I can get out of it is a health upgrade, which doesn't help me, except for, I guess, taking deals with the devil. However, the money may allow me to go to the shop, and so that would be definitely a good thing. And if I get down to half a heart, then, well, the next hit will kill me, and that will basically end this video, I guess. Okay, and we've also got plenty of bombs by way of the um, bur uh, burnt penny. Blurnt penny? That's not really what I was going for there. And that immediately will help me out. I can both open the shop and blow up this, which will give me access to this, which will, I guess, give me half a heart. In here we have the ladder again for... The ladder almost caused me damage last time, but I will still take it. And we can buy a key, which... I'm kind of tempted to blow straight away on that golden chest in case it's something good, but I think I'd rather keep it to ensure that I can get to the item room on the next floor. So with our piercing shots, we should have no trouble burning through these guys. And we'll see if there's anything of use in this poop here. Apparently there's not going to be anything. There rarely is, to be honest. I may as well go play the blood blank. The blood blank. Okay, apparently I'm just adding L's to everything that, um, in this playthrough, so... That's always interesting, but um, I may as well go play the blood bank. Blood, <laughs> blood bank one more time because I have oh, damage like a complete noob. Oh, as soon as I saw that room, I felt scared for the fact I was going to take damage, and now I'm really disappointed. Apparently, I can't get past basement two without taking damage, which is really, really sad. Um, I could actually die to this guy if I'm not careful. There we go. Uh, I now can't put the blood bank again, however, um, I do have another key, so I am going to use this on this golden chest in the hopes of getting something good out of it. And now, um, kind of all bets are off, so like, item-wise, it's no longer just things that are good for my defense or my ability not to take damage. So health ups are now good again, which I guess doesn't hurt because they're quite a common drop. And here we have Larry Jr., who should be nice and easy with this setup. Being able to hit all the segments of his body vastly increases the damage you can do to this guy and he usually dies incredibly quickly as a result. There we go, that was nice and fast and we got a spirit heart and a health upgrade out of that which certainly increases my survivability for the rest of this run. So now we're onto Caves 1 and I haven't made it past Caves 2 now in basically three attempts of this game. Or two, no, two attempts of this game. My first run I got all the way to Isaac but then died. Um, but in my last two runs, including the first half of this video, I haven't actually made it past Caves 2, which is super embarrassing for somebody who is trying to beat the game without taking damage. Nevertheless, we shall continue. Okay, these guys are just going to chase me, and they should hopefully all die relatively quickly, except for the champion who is inevitably going to be a bit of a douchebag, but... Maybe he'll drop health or something for me, which would be real nice. There we go. He dropped... Okay, there was a, ha a heart drop there, even though he only dropped a penny. Let's deal with these guys nice and easily. There's, I have so many bombs this run. I'd actually kind of like a bombs RQ pill at this point, because having all those keys would definitely be nice because I would just not need to worry about going into anything. I might as well go into the shop and just see what's in there because I have three keys at this stage. And you never know, I might have an item on sale. Or if not, as is the case, then I have plenty of bombs to look for the secret room and hopefully I can then afford the map. Which is always a good thing. So let's see if our secret room may perhaps be here? Maybe? No, you bastard. Okay. The, it could be north of this room, but I'm going to just see if that actually that could be the case, because it could also be to the south, which is... Oh my god, I took damage from a fly. <laughs> That's always super embarrassing. I just straight up did not see that fly. I just... I just did not see that fly. 
This guy's gonna wait till his poison has expired because he's a douchebag. Uh, I don't really want the child's, uh, maybe I want the child's heart? I'm not going to, because I should get health enough anyway. Oh look, a room full of five. Apparently, oh my god, these are the worst enemies for me in the game. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I've taken way too much damage from flies. This is just horrendous. Okay, that's enough money for the um, map, for the map, which is definitely a good thing. I nearly took damage from that fire there. I'm going to be lazy and use a bomb to get back into the shop just because I can. Because I have a lot, so I may as well. So we're going to pick up the map here. And then I'm not going to use two bombs to get back, even though I want to. I'm going to um, resist that urge because it is kind of a waste of bombs at that point. It's not really that far to walk around. I'd like some more damage, if that's not too much to ask from the game. I really don't have a lot of damage right now. The common cold is adding a little bit to my damage, but it's really not doing a lot for me at this point. The silkworm should die relatively quickly. I'm basically sneezing lasers at this point, aren't I? Like, <laughs> common cold with technology. <clears throat> it's basically a nose laser, which is kind of hilarious and awesome. The hourglass is not a good item. Gonna re-roll it into the magnet. <sighs> I can't get another reroll, so I may as well just take it at this point. Very disappointing, but whatever. Okay, so we've just got to deal with these globins. Shouldn't be too difficult. The common cold is actually nice for these guys, because when they go down into their... Oh, that was bad. I thought I could get past him, but I couldn't. That was real, real bad. All right, well, let's just go deal with this boss. And it's Fistula, which might not be too bad. I'm not really sure. Although technology does make it harder to avoid splitting him down into lots of pieces just because of the uh, piercing shots. Ooh, okay, that was very close to damage there. Let's deal with that guy if we can. Oh, I couldn't quite avoid that then. Oh my god, I've walked into him again. This is real, real bad. I'm just taking lots and lots and lots of damage. I may have to start playing this game off camera somewhat just to kind of train myself to be better at the game. Because... I'm kind of just, I'm ashamed of my own incompetence a lot of the time here. Although I am doing some good dodges, like I just a second ago dodged, like, several silkworms. Uh, oh, I don't want a range upgrade. It does nothing for me at this point, but I have no choice. At least we get to look beautiful with some lipstick. Oh no, it didn't even do that. Okay, well, never mind. Okay, here we are. Oh, there's a library. Okay, here's the deal. I'm gonna get crazy. Well, not crazy, but this is my thing. Every time I see a, lat a, lat a lat latigy? I think I just mixed the word library and strategy together for no reason. Anyway, every time I see a library, my strategy becomes basically forsake everything else to get the library down to not having any books in it, because then I could potentially get items as far as the cathedral, which can make a huge difference to your run. <laughs> I'm gonna go straight into the curse room, uh, the curse room, into the secret room here and get a couple of bombs and three pennies. I really don't need any more bombs at this point. I'd actually love a bomb as our key bill, considering I just spent all of my keys. That guy's gonna die nice and easily. Please be, oh no, it's fine, I found bills. I was hoping that was gonna be a bombs our key bill, as I requested, but unfortunately, that was not the case. Let's pick up this as well. Wow, every single one of those turned into a bomb, I think. Which is pretty good, although I, I just have way more bombs than I'm ever going to need. Just pop that guy out there so that I can remove him from the room, and this is almost the same room I just fought. The game seems to like giving me a lot of the same room in a row, I've noticed. Oh my god, I shouldn't have taken damage there, that was just very silly. Very, very, very silly. Spirit Heart is always welcome, any more of those you want to drop, I am completely down with that, and I think I haven't been using my rerolls to maximum advantage. Which is rather stupid, but never mind. We'll go back and re-roll the, uh, the library right now. I've taken one book out of the rotation without finding a library, which was Monster Manuel, so that's one less to find. Okay. I kind of want to take Book of Belial, because it does increase my damage by quite a lot, and I'm really lacking in damage, but I honestly don't think that's going to make or break my run, and it's not worth, like, not being able to get... Um, not been able to get the, the library down to item state, so I'm gonna just probably leave that behind, unless, and here's like a, a pro strategy if you like, if I can find the item room and it just contains, um, oh. I have, I, I, 
to, to be fair to myself, right? Here, here's the thing. To be fair to myself, I may have done a lot of stupid damage on this run, but I have pulled off some incredible dodges against these guys. Like, I, I, t I, I, I feel like I've done a good job at dodging these guys. Anyway, I was about to say, if I find the item room and it just contains a spacebar item I don't want, I can take the space. I can put the Book of Belial in there, and then take the spacebar item and leave that in the item room, uh, in the library, sorry. And then, ah, oh, that was so bad. And then I can uh, re-roll and still have done what I'm trying to do. I'm not constructing the sentence in the best way, but basically what I'm saying is I can, um, Keep the Book of Lyle and not get rid of it. Okay. Really didn't need a bomb there, but we're going to go and fight the boss now, because if I get a re-roll... Oh, good. At least it's not the bloke. Good God, the bloke ruined my last run. If we get a devil room, I will spend my re-roll probably on the devil room, because that's probably more important. Um, I don't really know why I'm still holding this pill. I'm just going to take it, because it's kind of a waste of my Q slots, even though it doesn't really do any difference to me. Shouldn't be too much difficulty, although I did almost take damage there, which was scary. The eyes are always a pain, but... I think every time he jumps at me, I'm gonna drop a bomb so that he'll walk on it, because that should hopefully help. Oh, that was bad! That was so bad! I tried to dodge it, and by trying to dodge it, I walked into it, which is the opposite of what I was trying to do. Okay. I go away. No! Oh my god! I keep walking into the eyes like I'm magnetised to them or something. Okay, there we go. <gasps> wow, Pentagram is a huge pickup at this point, because I have, like, no damage, and now I look like some kind of devil version of Magneto. That's kind of hilarious. Uh, we do have another re-roll, so that means I'm going to re-roll the library, which means I am going to lose the Book of Belial, but never mind. We have now picked up Pentagram, which is um, a damage upgrade of two. So I think it does about as much for me as the Book of Belial was going to do anyway. I know I think places say that it says it... The wiki says it does double damage, but that's actually not the case. And if you don't believe me, you can go and ask Biznap, who is basically the god of Isaac. Monster Manuel was last last time, wasn't it? I hadn't already got it this time. I was mixing the runs up in my head. Nevertheless, we found Book of Revelations, and I can use it because we have not We have already fought the boss, which means I won't get a... Horseman, which I generally like to avoid just because... I find it disappointing to always get the same item from them. This this scares me, but it shouldn't do because I have the ladder. So I can just go, lol, trolls, and get out of there that way. Okay, these guys are going down no problem now. I wouldn't mind another key, just so I can get into something else. Thank you. Wow, that was very kind of you. Is it guaranteed to be greed? No, it's not, because this is the first time he can appear. But I don't have enough money, so it's not really worth it. So yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to hold out for the item room, I think, and hope that there's just a passive in there and I don't need to re-roll because I'm spending all of my re-rolls on the library on this floor. Yeah. Oh, you god damn it, you bastard. <laughs> okay, more of these guys. I'll kill one of them before trying to get them to blow up this thing, just because otherwise I risk cornering myself. Whoa, okay, that was close. Okay, if you could be so kind now as to blow up this... Thank you very much. I will now end your life as a way of saying thank you. I now can go into both the shop and the item room, which is always a good thing, although I still don't have enough money for the item room, so maybe I... S I mean, for the shop, so maybe I still don't want to? I don't know. We'll see. We will see how my random... how my whims decide. Uh, troll bomb, please go away. So what do we have in here? Hopefully something good. Mon's pad. Not really the best item in the world, but I want to re keep re-rolling the library, so unfortunately, that's basically just dead weight to me at this point. I still can't decide if I should go in the shop or not, because I don't have enough... Oh, I picked up this... I'm so confused. I think I must have thought I was a floor ahead of where I was, because I picked up the steam sale last floor, but I thought that that could have been greed? Oh, I'm confused. Oh good, two telepathy for dummies. I hate it when you roll the same item twice, because it just slows down the speed at which you can clear it out. But I'm going to go in here, because I'm pretty sure I bought the steam sale. No, I did not. <laughs> Brain, can you start remembering what actually happened? Because at this point, you're starting to cause me serious problems. I'm going to buy the spirit heart, because why not? I'm not going to buy the bomb, because I already have a fuck ton of bombs. And I guess we're just going to move on. 
We're not in a terrible position, but I could certainly be doing a lot better. This video is going to be long as fuck if I actually manage to beat Blue Baby. We're already at like 40 minutes, and like, I've basically done two runs up until this point in the game so far. And getting to Isaac in my first video took me like almost an hour. I don't know why, because that's like an, ex an insanely long time just to get to Isaac. But if that's the case, this could end up being like an hour and 20 minute video, which is probably a bit long, to be honest with you. And I probably shouldn't make videos that long in future unless people want me to. Okay. Oh god, okay. Just avoid all of these guys. At least piercing shots makes these guys nice and easy. Thank you for dying at the perfect possible moment there. We will use a bomb here. Am I getting, like, a weird bit of frame lag here? I feel like I am, but I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why my voice went so posh then, either. <laughs> I felt like my frame was frame rate was randomly dropping then, and I'm not really sure why that happened, but never mind. Is this the way to Amarillo? No, it's not. However, it is the way to the shop, but I don't have any keys, so I actually can't get into anything right now, which is not a good thing. Okay, please walk over the spikes. No, apparently they're not going to walk over the spikes. Come on, over the spikes. Okay, never mind. You're going to walk over the spikes. Thank you very much. In here we find... Half a red heart. Okay, I would really like some keys if that's not too much to ask from you, game. Just a key would do. A bombs are key pill would be perfect, because I'm going to continue getting lots of bombs, at least until the next end of the next floor, when I will pick up the Polaroid. I do not like this room. This room used to be one of the hardest rooms for me to do. Although I did manage to blow up that guy to kill the other guy, which is always helpful. I hate turrets. I just absolutely hate turrets. And they're one of the big reasons that I think makes the Necropolis hard, one of the hardest floors in the game. Just because they you can't do anything about them. I just walked straight into that guy, apparently. But, you know, that is a good way to dodge things. Just walk directly into them. I'm vastly running out of space to dodge into here. This kind of scares me a little bit, but it nevertheless worked out. Oh, come on, just hit him. There we go. Another red heart, doesn't hurt. What's down here? Nothing. I might as well see what's down here. Nothing. Okay. Good. Good. Uh, could this be the item room, maybe? It is, but uh, again, I still have no keys, so none of this matters. Walk over the spikes, please. Thank you. There we go. Oh, God, that kind of hit me. Wow. Key? Ah, oh, you legend. Charm of the Vampire, do not want Mitre. Wow, okay, that, that's a big deal. That will vastly increase my spirit heart drop. So the way Mitre works, for anybody who doesn't know, and this is something which Biznap knows, and anybody who's seen him before probably already knows this, but basically it doesn't additively increase your chance to get, like, you have a base 10% chance of getting spirit hearts, right? The Mitre adds 50% chance, but it doesn't mean you have a 60% chance. What actually happens is you have a 10% chance of getting a spirit heart drop. If that check fails, so 9 out of 10 times that doesn't work, it then checks again with a 50% chance to see if you get a drop from the mitre. Which, I'm not sure if that works out better or worse, to be honest, or maybe it's exactly the same. I think it's probably actually worse, because you have a 50% chance of a 90% chance of getting a spirit heart via the mitre. But I don't- Oh! That's very good, yeah. Apparently that excited me to the point that I turned kind of racistly Chinese. <laughs> but, um, that's real good because now I can go to the shop and probably fight Greed. Yes, of course. I knew it was going to be Greed, but nevertheless it allows me to determine for certain that he is on the next floor. And also get a bunch more money, which I really don't need. But with this amount of keys, I may as well. I'm actually going to re-roll the Steam Sale into the Notched Axe, which is a waste of time. But I don't need the Steam Sale with 20 coins, so... And there's only one more shop in the game. So I'm going to keep re-rolling that item in the hopes of getting something good out of that otherwise pointless fight. So the boss... I feel like the boss is going to be... To the left. So I'm going to go up first to get a re-roll. Oh good, more of these guys. And less room to dodge and no spikes to kill them on. That's always a good thing. If you'd be so kind as to die from poison damage, that would be definitely helpful. Okay. Do some clutch dodging there through the middle of them, like a complete pro. <laughs> Which is questionable at this point whether I'm like a pro at this game. <laughs> this is the Hanged Man. Could be useful, I guess. Oh, good. Laser vaginas. Oh god! Okay, that was bad. I just didn't notice that guy. My brain can't track all five at once, apparently. 
Nevertheless, our health situation really isn't bad at this point. And... Oh, two diamonds. May as well use that straight away to get 40 coins. And now we definitely have more than we could possibly ever spend. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to get crazy here. And I'm going to pause the game because this, of course, is the glitch that happened where everything spawns at once. And I just want to get through this room as fast as possible. So this is probably a bad idea in hindsight. Because this is actually a very difficult series of enemies that I have now chosen to fight all at the same time. Oh my god, this is crazy. Okay, this is bad. This is why I'm taking so much damage. This was such a stupid idea. <laughs> I should not have done this, basically, is what I'm saying right now. This was generally a very bad idea. I've taken so much damage as a result of that, and that was just basically complete idiocy. But hey, if you're watching the, this series at this point for skilled gameplay, then I'm starting to feel like that maybe was a mistake. <laughs> Let's see if we can re-roll the notched axe into something useful. What could I get? I'm, I'm assuming it's items from the... Uh, I'd like a compass, I, I guess. I'm assuming it's items from the shop pool of items. Thank you very much. That was exactly what I asked for and you gave it to me. I really can't complain there. That will vastly speed up my ability to get through later floors. And it also... This is an important kind of... When you get the library strategy going on, it's an important to have the compass because it will tell you if there's a library on the floor and thus you don't waste time just checking to see if there is one take advantage of the um, items that can potentially spawn there. So we've got another five laser vaginas to deal with, hopefully this time I won't. Uh, let one hit me by being stupid, I nearly did there, and I just barely avoided it, but um, nevertheless, oh, there's even a double laser vagina in this room, so that guy could have been a problem, but he wasn't because I didn't actually get hit by him. Now we'll go fight the boss, and we shall fight the boar, so we'll get a cube of meat out of this. Hopefully I can get a devil up deal. Okay, that's not going to happen now. I was hoping to get a devil deal out of this, but uh, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Apparently I just... I don't know what <laughs> that humming was, but um, yeah. If you'd be so kind as to die pretty soon, uh, war, that would be very helpful, because after all, war, huh? What is it good for? <laughs> ah! You bastard. You absolute bastard. I'm not getting to deal with the devil out of this. Good god, I've taken a lot of damage in this room. You know what? I'm popping the hanged man. Uh, that now is useless because it doesn't do anything for me at all. <laughs> okay, yeah. The oh, wow. He's got glitched onto the rocks. I've never seen that happen before. Well, this is fun. Oh, god. Okay. He is way faster than me. This is really weird. I'm not quite sure what's happening here, but Edmund, your game is completely broken, and I think you're probably aware of that. This is kind of funny. He's just spazzing out on the rocks. <laughs> uh, uh, no, no. Okay. This way, thank you. This way, this way. Hey, get away. Okay, good. Well, this is suddenly now in um, scary territory again, because I am very close to dying, and I am terrified by that. There is an, ar uh, an arcade, but I don't think that's going to do anything for me at this point. We may as well go in here, collect three pennies, which isn't very useful. Um, I don't really see a point to blow out the other side of this room. So I'm just going to go through here. Okay, I don't like this room one bit. Because as I've stated before, I really hate turrets. I hate the fact they can fire when the room ends. That's just bollocks to me. Oh, justice. That's cool. That'll give me more health, which is definitely necessary at this point. I actually haven't gotten many um, many bombs, which is kind of weird. Ooh, what's this? Please be good. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Why did I walk in here? I have no idea. There was literally no point in doing so, but nevertheless, I now have to fight the room. That full health pill, man. And that's another one. Holy shit, that's a huge deal. That's massive. Okay, Chubb shouldn't be too much problem. He is big, fat, tanky chub who is uh, not a problem at all because he is slow. And he might drop a spirit heart. No, he dropped a red heart, which I don't need. What's this? Ranger. Well, that's useless, but nevertheless, at least it tried. <laughs> it's like, hey, I can be helpful too. I have range upgrade. And it's like, no, I didn't need a range upgrade. And I'm not sure if that was racist. I am doing a terrible job of this room and I've taken lots of damage. Ugh. Yeah. Oh. I'm not sure if these are weird noises, but... Well, I know they're weird noises, but I'm ah! not sure if they sound weirdly like I'm having some kind of seizure or something. I'll take the spirit hearts and I will open this golden chest for Tammy's head, which isn't very useful. 
It'd be cool if I fired lasers in all directions with this, but I don't. Uh, I'm just going to re-roll it. Into homing bombs? I have no bombs, actually, so I'm going to take it for that purpose alone. It's basically five bombs. I don't like these turkey neck dudes. They always manage to get me one way or another. One way or another. I'm going to find you. I don't know why I started singing fucking that song. That was really weird. No, 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 no. There we go. Okay, good. Brains. Definitely a zombie's favourite room. Please don't trap me in the corner with your creep. There we go. Ooh, this is good. This is a damage up and a health up, which is certainly something I am interested in. Uh, I guess... Ah, oh, do I want to... Mm, oh, wow, there's, apparently there's a heart there. See, I have a full health pill, but I kind of feel like I should keep that at this point for potentially not dying rather than trying to get a health up out of the blood bank. Because... I can go and pick up the health that's in here. Because I haven't been playing all that well. And I just don't trust myself to be good enough to not take, you know, like four hits or whatever I'd have left if I let myself go down to half a red heart and didn't get a health upgrade. I definitely don't want the tick, so we're just going to leave that there. Ooh, that was new damage. That was scary. Not that guy. Thank you very much. In here we find a couple of pennies, which should give me, well, one bomb. And we're going to go fight Mom. Hopefully this won't be too difficult, but I don't have the most damage in the world, so... it's It could be easier, put it that way. Ah, oh, damn you. you. Bastard in your face. Okay, Mom is not dying as fast as I'd like. That sounds horrendous. I hate the things this game makes me say. <laughs> Oh god, okay, 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 just keep saying okay, that's apparently making things okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, I'm sorry, I'm just panicking right now because I kind of got swarmed by enemies and apparently I turned into a trumpet again, because that's apparently the theme of this episode. <laughs> Or was it last episode? I guess that's not last episode, it's all the same episode, but, um... Oh, no, no, my bomb! No, no, bomb guy, no, bomb guy, no! Okay, that was good. Um, I'm getting a little bit panicky here, I'll be honest with you. This is kind of worrying. Please just die, please just, please just die, please just die, please just, please just... Oh, all I got for that was a range upgrade, really? I'm gonna reroll it. Okay, health upgrade, that's not too bad. I would really like to find Guppy's Paw. That would basically make this run for me at this point. So, oh, there's a library. That's super exciting. Okay, even though it makes us go the wrong way, I'm going to go for it because that could be a very good thing. I could do with a little bit more speed, actually. I'm still at, I am think I'm still at base speed. Maybe even a speed down has occurred with one of the items I've got, which is a little bit worrying. That was bad. That was real bad. That was real bad. Okay, this room is not much fun. Okay, that was scary. <laughs> Please don't. Thank you. This room is taking rather a long time. I'm kind of a little bit low on damage for this stage in the game, which is a little bit disconcerting, I'll be honest. No! Oh, I forgot that guy could fire through rocks for some reason. I thought I was safe, which was just kind of very silly in hindsight, really. Well, we picked up another bomb, which doesn't hurt, I guess, for the mom's uh, heart fight, which is coming up fairly soon, unless I die before I get there, which is not outside the realms of possibility at this point, if I'm being completely honest. So, these guys are not too difficult with piercing shots, but especially when there's no rocks to hide behind. Chest contains... a mysterious pill. Tears up! Okay, that's actually pretty good. We're now fighting, re firing reasonably fast. Okay, now these... Oh my god, that was so bad! That was so bad! These guys now have rocks to hide behind, which makes them infinitely more annoying. Okay, they're gonna pick. Oh, there's a spirit heart up there. That's really good. Really good. <laughs> okay, library! <laughs> That's amazing. That is just. That is. Fantastic. Not only does that heal me back to full health, the Sacrificial Dagger is one of the best orbitals in the game. 
golden chest, maybe? Ooh, red chest. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Troll bomb! You bastard! You bastard! <laughs> that was so shitty. That was so shitty. Nevertheless, this isn't the hardest. Am I gonna get peep here? I think this means I get peep, which is really kind of a shame and annoying because my damage really isn't good and people could actually do damage to me and apparently so can Chubb, which is really disappointing. This was a bad idea. No, nothing good has come out of this. I've basically just taken damage. Oh no, it's double monstro too, I forgot. Okay. Ugh. At least double monstro too isn't too bad. I'd much rather fight this than Pete, so... We'll just make short work, hopefully, of him. Of both of him. Anytime either one of you want to die, that would be absolutely A-OK -okay with me. There we go. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Monstro. That's very helpful. Okay, moving on. So, this is what I mean. That library right there... I'm not going to say it's made my run, but it's definitely been a huge help. So, yeah. Getting libraries down to only items is a huge, huge advantage. Although it can not pay off at all, and you might never see one again. But, you know, it means you have the potential to get items as far as the chest, which is just a beautiful, beautiful thing. I don't know why I'm going this way, because I know where the boss is. I have the compass and the map, and yet I'm still going the wrong way, which certainly says something about my ability to concentrate. So there's, what, four rooms till the boss? That's not too bad. Uh, okay, this kind of scares me a little bit, because... Uh, oh god, okay. I was too busy paying attention to my doppelganger, and I got hit by one of these guys. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry if I sounded a little bit constipated there. That was purely just panic on my part. We might have been uh, doing a reasonable job here. Okay, I can use my doppelganger to kill this turret here, which is always a good thing, and that was scary, but I managed to survive. My god, there are so many lasers that I fought. Seriously, this is the most amount of vagina I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh, that's funny because it's true. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to sit here and giggle about that for a while because I'm immature. Wow, that was close. Okay, who are we fighting on here? I'm hoping it's not conquest or death. Of course it's death. Oh, it's champion death as well. Even better. Oh, God, this is scary. Oh, damn it. Oh, my God. These freaking exploding eyeballs of things. I'm managing to avoid the scythe quite effectively, though. I'm not quite sure how that's happening, but uh, I'm not complaining. Oh my god, my damage is so low. This is taking way too long. Please don't get killed by the eyeballs again! No yeah! constipation, good. Oh god, no! Ah, you motherfucking bastard! Okay, now he's spawning, spawning moors, which is... I hate the... the literally, I was apparently dodging that uh, spirit heart there for ages, which is quite funny. The worst thing about this guy is the goddamn... Um, the, the uh, what do you call it? The, the horse thing that just, I have a really itchy nose and I really want to itch my nose, please. Itch, 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 okay, good. <laughs> um, yeah, it takes so long to kill the horse and it's just, it's so hard to hit. It just, it, there we go. It just irritates me, basically. We are going to get a second cube of meat, which I'm certainly not complaining about. We still have a full health pill, which is certainly going to come in handy before too long. I'm not, oh yes, there's another library and it's so easy to get to. This is beautiful. Please don't be greed in here. Wow. Okay, do I want to re-roll that? No, I think I want to take it because I risk dying, like, quite badly. And being able to come back as Blue Baby, which would give me the Polaroid invincibility effect, could definitely make or break this run. So, yeah. In we go. Ooh, do I want Loki's horns? I don't think so. I think I'm going to take that and then I'm going to re-roll that. What? That's, that, that worked out alright. The little bit of speed is definitely a good thing, I think, from that um, Roid Rage pickup that we just got. Even though the range doesn't help me at all, I think the speed probably does make a difference. And this has been a super easy wound too, so this definitely increases my level of confidence for actually beating the game this time. We'll see. Okay, we've got a Spirit Heart there, that's nice. And here comes Mom's Heart, which shouldn't be a very difficult fight. Although I do hate taking out the lasers when I have la a laser myself, because I have to line myself up with them perfectly, and that's always scary. And my Homing Bombs actually have been really helpful against Mom. Okay, 
okay monster if you can quickly die that would be very nice poison's always nice to have on mom as well because you can do a little bit of damage to her uh, mom's heart rather, when she goes back up into the ceiling okay kill the knights uh, didn't kill the knights that was kind of bad never mind probably gonna burn through all our bombs on this fight but to be honest that's probably acceptable that's they're probably the it's probably the most like the best use of bombs is this fight so I think that bomb was actually wasted, but never mind. Oh, no, she's now invisible and firing bombs, which is kind of weird and scary. Ah, okay, dodge that, thank you. I thought I was going to walk and creep there, but luckily it disappeared in the last possible second it could have. Okay, this is a little bit scary, I'm getting kind of cornered, and these guys are chasing me. Damn it, I walked through the creep. I had a feeling I was going to, I couldn't really avoid it at that point, which is... Uh, kind of a shame, but never mind. Mom is going to die pretty... Mom's heart is going to die really soon. There we go. And that devil room does not contain items, because the amount of times I've seen people say, you missed the devil room. Not to me, personally, because no one comments on my videos, um, but to other people. So, there's no items in this devil room. Look, empty. Nothing. There's just a, there's just a trap door down to Sheol, which I don't want to go to, so I'm going up to the cathedral. Okay, we can get to the boss relatively quickly. Ooh. That's that's nice. Not only do we not fight anything in that room, but uh, I didn't need to walk out the door there. We get a golden chest as well, which contains just some money and a bit of health, which isn't all that useful, but never mind. Oh, good draw. I'm just going to walk out of here. I don't really know. If, I don't know why I'm fighting greed at this point. I guess I, I mean, I could just walk out the room. X-ray glasses have just done two very good things for me. One, they allowed me to... Jesus Christ, greed. What the fuck are you doing? One thing is they allowed me to... Uh... Where did that penny go? What the fuck? They allowed me to have, uh, the x-ray glasses allowed me to skip that greed fight. I can't finish the sentence because other things keep happening which are important. That key was actually pointless. I'm going to play this just a little bit. Uh, at least until I finish the sentence. Uh, the x-ray glasses allowed me to both skip that war fight and also meant that I could get through the greed secret... Um, that was a nice spirit heart. Get through the um, secret room even though it contained greed. I don't know why it took me so long to... Um, can, fin can finish that sentence. <laughs> I think my brain is slowly melting. I'm not sure if I'm going to be, be alive much longer at this point. I think just, you know, my brain is slowly melting and coming out through my ears. Uh, this has actually turned out to be a really good thing, playing this, this Blood Bank, because I've gained a lot of health from it, which could definitely be a big part of determining whether this run is a success or not. So this is why gambling is a good thing, even though I guess it can be boring to watch. And is this pill a good thing? Tears down? No, not really, although I guess a low rate of tears isn't a bad thing against Blue Baby, but you kind of need the damage to compensate, which I don't really have, so, you know, that's a thing. I've just noticed this run has now passed an hour long, so I really need to get a fucking move on. Oh, I'm just going to play this down to 40 cents, I think. Uh, okay, maybe not. Apparently I've just got Pinky Eye, which I definitely don't want. Oh, good. Angel Fetuses. That's certainly not a good thing, because these things take a long time to kill. Ugh, I hate the fact they can do that. They shouldn't be able to teleport right next to you. That's bullshit. Apparently I can't actually hit them from here, which is kind of scary. Oh, whoa. Okay, I think I just walked through him as he was teleporting in there, which scared the shit out of me, I'll be completely honest. Uh, avoid that guy's shots, thank you. I think it's just this guy left now, which isn't too much issue. He dropped a bomb and a tarot card. Ooh, a strength card. When do I want to use that? Do I want to use that now? I might use it now, depending how the fight's going. Ooh, actually, I can't take my full health pill in then. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to leave it. I think it's more... I think it's better to have a full health pill. Okay, my rate of fire is not helping this fight one little bit. But I, I'm not too bad at dodging these shots, to be honest with you. Ah. Oh. But I have been hit twice, but then that is to be expected with a high rate of fire. Sorry if I don't talk much during this fight, because I am super concentrating not to get hit too much. Oh my god, I'm getting hit loads. Jesus Christ, okay. If I end up using the full health on this fight, then I will, of course, take the, yeah, the strength card up the next floor. My god, Isaac is not really very low on health. Okay. It gets a little bit easier now, just because the homing shots are generally a little bit easier to avoid, just because he only fires a few of them. But nevertheless, this is still scaring the absolute shit out of me at this point. It's the randomness of the shots, like, some of them land really close to him, I mean, the, like, the reaction shots, like, some of them go really close to him, some of them go, like, ah, that was bad. 
Some of them go really far. Okay, we're down to... Oh, that was scary. We're down to four hearts. I need to... Three hearts. Two more hits and I've got to pop this full health pill. So... Oh, that was scary. Oh my god, I don't know how I managed to avoid that. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's almost down to Angel Feet Estate though, which is... I'm going to get swarmed there because I just don't have the damage to take them out very quickly. So that could be a very, very scary period of time for me. Okay, we immediately have to start moving, which is never a good thing. It's always better to stay in one place. Oh god, okay. Okay, full health, right. I'm not sure how this is going to work out, but uh, this is a very scary situation that I find myself in right now. There's like six or five, five or six angel features on the screen right now, and I'm not able to do a huge amount of damage to Isaac. Oh god, okay. Let's see if I can. Oh god, get a bomb in there. Yes, okay, good. Get another bomb in there. Okay, good. Whew. Oh god. Oh, okay, I'm out of bombs completely now. Oh my god, and I'm full hearts. Okay. Dodge past them. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. This is really coming up to the wire here. Oh, okay, that was a scary dodge. Um. Oh, okay. Down to three hearts. Down to three hearts. I can still do this. 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 I'm gonna die immediately on the chest, but I can still do this fight. Oh my god. <laughs> this is scaring me so much, though. No. Oh my god, down to two hearts now. Down to two hearts. This is really coming down to the wire, and I am so, so. Oh, one hit away. Oh, and that's it. Oh, wait, I have the Ankh. Oh, yes. I have the Ankh. Okay, here we go. Look at that evil grin on my face. That's the same grin I have on my face right now in real life. Oh, this guy looks scarily like me. I don't know why I'm blue and have weird strands of hair sticking out of my face. More, Or moreover, why I've stuck a magnet to my face or have horns, but... Uh, I'm going to go and I'm going to pop the strength card straight away. And maybe we can make this work. I don't know. Every time I get hit, I can go and stand next to him and do a lot of damage as a result of the Sacrificial Dagger and Poison Touch. But I don't, I can't get hit many times, which is a scary, a scary, scary thing. It's a scary, scary series of events that have happened. And I thought this one was over, but it's not. And I'm, oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Um, um, I don't have words to describe what's happening right now. I've taken it down much faster, but I'm only, I've only got like two more hits left in me, which is really a scary, bad thing. And apparently. I have turned into a really bad impression of David Attenborough now, while I am doing this. As you see, in the wild, Isaac is actually a motherfucking bastard who fires endless wooden shots at you while trying to murder you with reaction shots, and then spawns a bunch of fetuses which have been probably aborted by mothers who didn't want them, and have grown wings in order to gain revenge on the world. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying right now, and I apologise if that offended anybody who maybe knows somebody or had an abortion themselves. I don't really know. What the fuck I'm doing right now, but this is scaring the flying shit out of me. And if I take any damage, this run is over. And I really don't want that to happen. Because I have never, ever beaten Isaac on car. My glasses just fell off. <laughs> well, I feel like I gave that my best shot there. Um, I, I, I really tried, but I just couldn't, I couldn't pull it off, unfortunately, which is, um, which is really disappointing, and I still have yet to even beat Isaac on camera, so um, I apologise for my next two, but I am certainly trying to improve my gameplay, which is basically adjusting to one, not having played the game for a while, and two, commentating while talking. Nevertheless, if you like this video, please leave a comment and like the video, because they both help me out very much, and if you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel, because that would make you extra, extra awesome, and I will try and do better next time, although I think I did reasonably well this time, even though I did have to start a second run just to you know, counteract my awful run. And this video has now lasted like an hour and ten minutes, which is just insane. Uh, but thank you very much if you got this far. I don't know how you had the patience to sit through this, but uh, nevertheless, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.